y'all welcome to my first video i am so excited for what is to come but today i wanted to share certain thoughts that i've been having through this time of being mostly at home and not really going out you know there's it's only so much you could do at home besides binge watch a whole bunch of shows, sleep and eat. So what's another thing that we also like to do a lot of is thinking. And I'm definitely guilty of overthinking and just doing a lot of thinking in general. So let's get started. Okay, so many of my thoughts lately have just been getting to know myself and what makes me happy and what are things that I really want to do and haven't done so because I've been afraid to do. So you know, what is really the meaning of fear? And just hold on with me a little bit because you're going to get my point. So the definition that I found for fear is it is an unpleasant feeling or emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, a threat, or can cause pain. So what caught my attention was, it is a belief. A belief is usually something that you've thought about, something that somebody else has thought of, and you agree with that thought or, you know, you believe something to be true. So that's where the belief comes from. And I'm like, wow, so it really does start with a thought. And thoughts will have a major impact in your everyday life. Because if you think about it, we're thinking from as soon as we open our eyes, when we're showering, when we're doing the dishes, when we're working, when we're working out, I mean, that's pretty much what we do all day. So it makes sense that they tell us to renew our minds every single day, every single moment, because that negativity is always going to come up because things aren't always going to go right. And so, but it's maintaining that positive attitude or it's like when they said, you know, it doesn't matter what happens is in the way that you react, correct? But how would you react is because you need to have good thoughts. You need to have positive thoughts that will lead you to make good decisions that will lead you to make positive or to have positive outcomes versus thinking negatively and just acting on impulse and acting bad or, you know, whatever it is. So, and I think I've been in both ends of the spectrum where, you know, my life has been absolutely in chaos and, you know, suffering. And I've woken up super terrible and I'm like, oh my God, when will I be better? And I've had to shake it off. And how? It's been by renewing my mind and thinking positive. And I'm a pretty positive person. And I think many could tell you that when I'm not positive, like something really, really is wrong and I must be going through something because my energy levels are usually very high and I'm like nope we got this and so yeah I've been in that place where um you know nothing can pull me from where I'm at I'm having a good day and let's keep it going right and so I know what it's like to be in both spots and I've been when I'm in a really great spot and something negative happens I'm more likely to just brush it off and be like oh, it's okay and not take um not let it really affect me versus when I'm already having a bad day and something bad happens, I'm like, oh my God, this like, they cannot get any worse. So, but like I said, it's in those bad moments where I've realized that when I take care of myself, when I renew my thoughts, when I started thinking positive again, when I, you know, find things that motivate me or that, you know, soothe my soul um, and mind, it helps me feel so much better this can actually impact your work opportunities relationships experiences because if let's say for work opportunity you're over here thinking like oh well i don't have the qualifications like look at everything that they asked for and then you look at your resume and you're like oh my god i'm never ever gonna get that job and sometimes you just have to try and um you know i think i've seen a lot of people at least who I went to school with, not even end up in the same industry. We all went to school for fashion or like business administration and ended up in totally different places. And that's totally fine. I mean, I, you know, the experience that I had at one point um, took me to this other point and it all works. All the knowledge that you have is going to help you get to your next point. And I feel like right now where I'm at is exactly where I need to be at. And I wouldn't have pictured myself being here, you know, when I was back in high school thinking, what am I going to do with my life? And so that's just one of the examples of 
how your frame of thinking can limit you you know in opportunities like this so you know it's difficult but like i said it's you have every single day you have every single second to make your thoughts better to you know learn to think more positively despite what's going on in your life so what are you, some of your thoughts at this moment you know what are things that are holding you back maybe just take a little time and think about that because that's exactly what i was doing um, and why i wanted to share this video because when i started analyzing like I said at the beginning of the video, why I wasn't doing certain things that made me happy. Um, it, it was because I was fearful of what people were going to say or what people would think. And I just didn't want to be in a position of like, look, that's a failure, I guess. Or I didn't want to fail myself. So I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to try because um, if I'm not good enough or I'm not gonna do well like what's the point but we really doubt our abil our abilities and it is not until you um, leave your comfort zone that you're actually able to see what you're really made of and what you are capable of doing we give ourselves I think very very little credit for what we're capable of achieving and so I was watching a sermon one day and one of the pastors is saying how other people's thoughts or criticisms shouldn't be your limitations. And I was just mind blown. If we were only to look at it that way, because when people like criticize us or just tell us to do something differently or add something, we immediately are like, oh my God, I'm the worst. I, I didn't do it correctly, you know, or because if you really start to think about it, that is exactly what we do. Whatever other people say that we can't do, we just make that our limitation. We're like, nah, I'm not going to do it anymore because, you know, this person told me I wouldn't be good at it or, you know, this person criticized me. And so it's not for me. I'm not I'm not going to go there anymore. And maybe you're going to be super great at it. You just needed um, more practice or maybe they told you that because they were jealous of what the potential that you actually had and I think I mean there's many times where I haven't really cared other people's thoughts when it came to like what I was wearing so most of the time I would just be like well I like this so that's all that matters or um you know things would just shrug off my shoulder very quickly and like I would just not listen um so it wouldn't affect me but there were other times where I did listen and I was like, I felt terrible. I'm like, oh man, I guess maybe I shouldn't do that. Or, um, you know, it was in the back of my head and it would stress me out because I had people's voices um, trying to become my own thoughts and when they really weren't mine. But I was starting to accept it and I'm like, okay, this is not me. And that's the point that I'm trying to get across. Eventually, if you accept other people's thoughts and criticisms as your own, you're gonna limit yourself. You're not gonna go for what you wanna go for. And you're gonna disconnect yourself from you. You're gonna lose total essence of who you are and you're so special. Um, so you can't let somebody else's criticisms define you. And sometimes it's just because people simply don't see your vision. And because they don't see your vision does not mean that what you're dreaming of isn't going to happen or isn't a possibility. So you dream as big as you want to dream. And I've seen it many, many times that what people were once told no or that it would never happen, they make it come to pass because they pursued it with passion and didn't give up. And I think that that's what a lot of us lack. And it's either sometimes it's discipline and sometimes it's fear and, you know, but I think that the better we get at controlling those negative thoughts or, um, you know, those thoughts of fear, the more open we'll be to new opportunities, new experiences, going for what we want, despite not knowing what the outcome will be, but still actively pursuing it and putting all of your efforts to make what you want happen and let's go back to something that i said a little earlier about fear of failing oh man i've been there so many times like especially at my job i'm like oh i don't want to do that because 
you know, you or you like push tasks off because you're like, oh, I don't know how to do that. I'm going to do it wrong. I don't even want to get it started. And it just stresses you out. But I've come to realize that if I really just take the time to sit there and be like, okay, I've never done this before, but let's figure out how, what the steps are to get it done and we'll get it done. And it gets done like this and it gets done well. Um, and so I'm like, man, I sat there all these times stressing out, thinking that it wasn't going to come out right and it went great. So that has definitely been a motivation for me to, in every task that I do, to just remind myself that even if I do make a mistake, because I have made mistakes from not having the proper knowledge, people, some people have been fine with me making mistakes when there's definitely been other people, um, you know, in my life who as soon as like an error is made it's like oh my god that's it you're like, the worst person um not in those exact words but you know what i mean and i feel like that is why we are constantly afraid of failing because i don't know where it comes from but i'm sure that many of you will agree that it's been engraved that failure is bad and so we're just like we don't want anybody to know that we failed at something or that we suck at doing something um you know, especially like if you're dating somebody or anything, you're just like, oh God, I don't want them to see me. Like, no, but it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to fail because that is your learning process. That is your development. You know, sometimes we, we want to appear secure of who we are, but you're truly risking your growth. And that's how you grow. That's how you advance in life by trial and error and you know that's the only way sometimes that you're gonna know like how something is properly done and again i relate that back to my job because sometimes there's a lot of things that i don't know how to do and i'm like well i'm gonna try to do it this way because i don't know any other way and if it comes back wrong then i'll just fix it and then i could be secure next time that i do it that this is how it gets done you know so again don't be afraid to make mistakes i have definitely been um when to do that and it stopped me from doing a lot of things because uh i'm like oh man like like i said what are other people gonna say if i fail and at the end of the day either one they probably really aren't thinking about us or two they are and are criticizing us in their head but it doesn't matter because this is about you and this is about your life and that's what matters you for you to grow so what's next? Another thing that I did, um, you know, thinking that I was terrible at doing something or that I wasn't enough or what I had wasn't enough or, you know, that I just wasn't ready, that this wasn't the right time. I was like, let me wait till I have a prettier house to show it or let me wait till I have certain things, you know, to get something done. And so I just started making excuses like, you know, it's not the right time or, um, I don't have time for this. That was my number one excuse. Like, I don't have time for this. And I would just be busy up my schedule doing other things that kept me from doing things that I loved. So when you sit there and just do something completely to stay within your boundaries, to stay within your comfort zone and don't acknowledge your fears or if you acknowledge them but don't do anything about it, it's literally like you're not really acknowledging them. Um, because you're in a place of like false control, believing that, yeah, you've got it together, but as soon as something new is thrown at you you're gonna be terrified and i mean not to say that even when you um go um to try and conquer your fear you're not gonna be afraid you are gonna be afraid but you're gonna have the right mindset you're gonna push yourself despite you know what else is telling you no because you've already set your mind to this is what you're going to do and nothing and no one is going to stop you so can you imagine having that mentality like, no, this is what I want. This is what I want to go for. And despite what comes my way, despite how hard it is, I'm going to work for it because this is exactly what I want. Like what a mentality. And I feel like that's the mentality of people who make things happen. And so we go through life just trying to fit in like these little boxes that society tries to put us in or relationships or family members or, you know, the people that you surround yourself with and trying to live up to their expectations of what success is or what our life should look like. And that really does not make anyone happy. And that's one of the things that like, I was able to pick up very early on. And 
if something didn't make me feel good or if there was something that I just didn't like, I would easily drop it off. But as I got older, it got a little bit harder because I felt like it was a responsibility and I should just not push things away or just drop them um, because of how it would make me look. But there's times that you gotta do what makes you feel good despite what other people may think. Um, and I can absolutely stand by that because there's a lot of things that I dropped that because they weren't making me happy anymore. They were just making me more stressed out. They were burning me out. And once I dropped it off, I saw how much happier I was and how much more time I had to pursue things that I wanted to or simply um, got me to the point where I was able to get to know myself better. And with that being said, you know, when you know yourself, when you know um, what pushes you, what motivates you, it starts to incorporate into your thoughts. Because if you already know that this there's a certain thing that motivates you, then that's what you're going to try and put in your mind. And that's why in the Bible it says, you know, that we must renew our minds every single day because every day things are gonna happen that are not great, um, you know, that it might put us in a bad mood or there might be things that it's all rainbows and sunshines and that is fantastic, but um, it's not always like that. So I think sometimes we actively need to just, as soon as we wake up, you know, put ourselves into that mindset where today's gonna be a good day and you know even if little things that i don't agree um happen it's going to be okay and i'm gonna continue smiling and you know because things are always going to happen and it's about taking that grace that you're giving yourself for making mistakes that you got to give to others as well for making mistakes so you cannot get upset too often at other people um and i think that that totally changes um, you know, your full outlook on the day or and the thoughts you have, um, you know, have to do with who you surround yourself with, who you talk to very often, things that you're seeing, things that you're listening to, because let me tell you that I was watching way too much Criminal Minds and I was waking up every single hour of the night terrified because I thought somebody was just going to come up in my door um, and kill me. So that was not setting myself up for success watching until late at night because then I would wake up in a bad mood the next day or just wake up super anxious and you know I have to take care of myself and I'm not saying that it's bad watching that show I'll still watch it but I'll watch it earlier in the day so um you know as the day goes forward I've already done enough that it's like way in the back of my mind and when I go to sleep uh, it's not fresh on my mind that I'm thinking that somebody's just going to walk through my door and kill me, right? So we definitely have to be careful with everything, absolutely everything, even from like the things that we eat. That's another thing that I've learned. Um, you know, there's things that suck my energy and there's things that give me energy and make me feel better and make me happy. Um, not necessarily that I'm going to eat a berry and I'm happy, but <laughs> because I feel good inside, it just translates outward and you know transfers to how I feel mentally so like I said everything everything that you do matters but it all starts with your thinking so make sure you're being proactive in um, you know how you talk to yourself because at the end of the day your thoughts are really like you just thinking out loud so you talking to yourself and you know, you have to treat yourself with so much love. Moving forward, those voices that, you know, are there telling you that you're not enough or that somebody's going to fail you again or that you don't have what it takes or, um, you know, that you're not smart or you're not pretty or whatever it may be, they're always going to be there. Um, so it's about learning, like I said at the beginning, of being able to push them away and think something positive instead or just acknowledging like, okay, this is how I feel right now, but this is what I can do to make it better or make myself feel better. And it's not to say is that those voices are never gonna go away, but it is the attention that you give it, whether it's gonna make that little voice small or if you give it a lot of attention, 
is going to make it super big and you're never going to move past it. You're going to be stuck in the same place. And I can't tell you enough, seriously, and I've heard it in the sermons too that I was watching about how much a thought can control you because there's also days where I don't want to work out and trust me, I hate working out. And I'll just be like, oh, but I feel tired. And my emotions will translate into a thought and just tell me, no, but you're tired. Don't do it. You'll do it tomorrow. And you start listening to yourself like, yeah, I'm tired. This is our day off. And then or you know that your body just needs to exercise because it will release that stress. Um, but you're telling yourself, no, it's okay. Don't do it. And that's just setting myself up for failure because I already know that, um, you know, if there's a day that I really need to release stress and should work out and I don't, I, I really won't be, um, not that I won't be in a good mood, but I just physically and like emotionally and mentally don't feel well versus when I push those thoughts away and I'm like, you know what, I'm tired, but still I'm going to do it because I know that this is going to make me feel better. I feel absolutely fantastic after i've worked out it's not always the case but um most of the time it is so it truly truly impacts the you know when you're able to push those bad thoughts away and constantly be in a positive mindset so to finish up all I want to say is truly love yourself, love, love yourself for who God has made you, for what you have, for what you've been through, because there is nobody like you. You are so unique. And so whatever anyone else has to say, either they don't see it from the same perspective and that's okay. We all have um, different viewings on life and how things should get done, but it doesn't always mean that it's right. You know, so we need to be able to understand one another on you know how we do things or why we do things and there's certain things that of course that we don't do that are incorrect um but sometimes we don't know better sometimes we do know better and still do the bad things um but because there's things internally that have led us to that place that we still need to heal and fix but that's another conversation so again you were wonderfully and uniquely made for a specific reason. So there is things that you have that I don't. There's things that I have that you maybe don't. And that's why we are a place in this world to share from what we've got to learn from one another. And that is the beauty of getting to know one another. So I hope this was of encouragement. I hope that whatever you are going through or whatever negative thoughts that you have been having or, you know, if you just felt stuck and, you know, or there's things that you want to pursue, but you've been just hanging back because of, again, your thoughts or fears. I hope this is an encouragement for you to get out there and do what you were called to do, to do what makes you happy and to pursue those dreams. You totally got this. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, subscribe. There are many more things in store for you. I have lined up like home decor videos, lifestyle vlogs, more talks like this, and fashion. So I'll see you soon.